Welcome back. Hi. It's been a while. Um, but now that the weather's warm here, warmer, warming up in Minneapolis, I have decided to come out of my hibernation and to start vlogging again. And I thought that what's a better time than the present? So here is what I'm working on. I have so many clothes. These are all clothes I need to put away, but I'm just kind of organizing my drawers. And then also, as you can see there, getting rid of some stuff. It's been my goal to get rid of clothes and go through my clothes since literally January 1st. Like that was my January goal and I didn't do it. So that's what I'm doing. I have so much stuff that I need to get rid of. I don't wear half of it. I'm gonna go through it all, really organize my closet. You can see here that I'm trying to organize in here. I have a bunch of hangers that are empty. I need to get rid of some shoes for sure. I wanna dye these things black, but then I wanna organize this by like time of the year because every season I kind of like to go through my closet and organize it with things that I'm going to wear more often so like put all my sweaters and stuff to the back of the closet and then like tank tops short sleeve shirts um anything like that towards the front so that I have them more readily accessible but yeah so I wanted to just hop on here start off the vlog on a positive note I look really gross um but yeah what, like I said, what better time than the present? So, I'm done with work for the day. It is Thursday. And I'm gonna go to boxing. So this is what I'm wearing. Oh my god, did you hear that? It sounded like the TV turned on. They're like ready for dinner. They get ready for dinner at like 3 and then just bother me until then. Um, until they eat at 5. So this is what I'm wearing. This set is from Amazon. And then I'm just wearing some Adidas shoes and my socks are black and they look awful. I'm like really weird about socks. Like that look bothers me. Luna. And I just need to finish putting away the clothes that I have to hang up. I like to separate that out. But yeah, I love this shirt. It has like holes in the back. Super cute. Um, what was I gonna say? I don't remember. <sighs> Luna, what? Oh, I was gonna show you my closet. So, sorry, I'm like putting over a sea look. She thinks that I'm gonna feed her. I cleaned my closet and organized it. Ignore this stuff here, it won't normally be there. That's uh, just all stuff that I would like to dye black. Don't ask. <laughs> um, so when you walk in, you see my slippers, heels, heels, purses, purses, purses. And then you come back here. And there's just some random boxes of stuff. I hate how that looks. I just don't know how to make it look good unless I buy new containers. And I really don't want to do that. Um, and then this is all kind of like winter stuff. More shoes. That is like sandals and stuff that don't really go well on there. Laundry hamper. I have like a workout bag over there. Like a tote. Back in here. It's all black so you can't really see it. And then I have all my jeans and dress pants. Right there. They're nice because they're kind of blend in and hidden. And then I have all these hangers. Um, I still need to put up those clothes over there, which will probably take up most of them. But I'm always out of hangers. So then this is like tank tops. Hold on. And then this is like tank tops, short sleeve shirts, and dresses. I do need to go through and organize. There are some short sleeves over on this side, but more like summer stuff on this side. And then have some sneakers down on the bottom. It goes all the way to that wall. And then up here is just something that we're going to ignore. I have like wax melts and like candle warmer stuff in there. Some, all my towels for like holidays and stuff. And then some extra sheets. A uh, Vera Bradley bag. That bag has clothes in it. I honestly should take it down and look through it. And then cat kennel. Christmas decorations, Halloween decorations, and then my heated blanket is way up there. Um, but it feels so good to have, like my closet was clean before, but it just wasn't like super clean. And I went through and like, <coughs> oh, 
oh excuse me i cleaned my bathroom and stuff like not that long ago and it just got dirty again so i'm gonna have to go through that too i'm calling it spring cleaning i think that that's a good name for it look at luna she's literally like what do you want so that is what i'm doing i'm going to boxing i'm not sure if i'll bring you or not but if i do then i'll see you there and i'm watching charles and Alyssa. i love them I wanted to go ahead and show you guys what kind of pre-workout I've been using. So this is the Lit AF Beyond Raw pre-workout in gummy worm. And I'm telling you, this stuff I'm like is so good. I'm using this baby blender bottle. Except if you literally get it anywhere on your skin, it like tingles it's so bad. It's probably so bad for you. I promise I don't usually take free workout. I just bought it when I was working out for my um, trip to Arizona and I was trying to like be in the gym a lot because I'm not really a worker outer if you know me. Um, so I promise I won't use it afterwards but it literally comes out like a fluorescent green color. It's literally so weird. Like neon green it looks. There we go. Shake, shake, shake. Probably should hold the lid down. I'm always scared that it's gonna like come out. With it. It's actually sunny today, but I guarantee it's still not nice out. You're not gonna be able to see the color in this. Oh, you kind of can. I don't know if you can tell, but. It's literally like glow in the dark. But okay, bye bye. you after boxing because I literally came home and ate and went to sleep um and I've been working and now it's lunchtime so I'm gonna take a quick little break and go to the gym this is what I'm wearing I have on some little leggings and a shirt this shirt has like little crosses in it it's cute can't see I have a waist trainer on um but I got some goodwill yesterday for like weird my lens is being weird for like three dollars and the dogs are sleeping. They got their hair cut yesterday. I don't know if I showed you them before. But that's what they look like now. See, it's a little bit chubby. We need to go on a little um, diet and exercise plan. Yeah. Uh-huh. So that's what I'm doing. Then I'm going to come back, work the rest of the afternoon. And then, I don't know what I'm doing tonight. Probably not a lot. I'm literally so exhausted. I was in Arizona last weekend, so I was like out all weekend. And the weekend before that was Easter, so I was at home. The weekend before that, I was in Bismarck. And the weekend before that, I don't even know where I was. But I've been a lot of places, and I'm exhausted. So probably just spend this weekend chilling at home. Um, yeah, that's what I'm doing. So I'll see you later. Okay, guys, I'm here. I got ready. My hair. I can't with it. Like, these curls are too big. This curling... Okay, can you not rub on me? Curling iron is way too big of a barrel. I like it. I think it'll be really great when my hair grows out a little bit. But at this point, I think I'm going to have to just throw some curls in the top. But I wanted to show you this little outfit that I got. Okay. Lighting. There we go. So, I got this bodysuit off of Shop D. Lee. And I freaking love it. It's so soft. So comfortable and my lighting keeps kind of going in and out but I wanted to show it to you I think it's so cute it's so flattering and yeah I also wanted to show you my little inklet that I got from Amazon okay well it's not gonna it's not facing the right way but it has a little E on it and I think that's cute I've been really into inklets hi friends hi 
see, long time no see. So we're going to Nico's Tacos in St. Paul to meet up with Keelan and get some tacos because we were both craving them today. Like, I literally am always craving what tacos. What is it, telepathically? Yeah, is that ESP. ESP, we had ESP for each other today. ESPN. <laughs> oh my God, my nail's stuck in my hair. Nice. Good morning. My lens thing keeps getting stuck. Um, it is Saturday morning. It's like 9.30. Just woke up. I'm making a cup of coffee. And then I'm packing like a book and some stuff. I'm going to walk to the dog park that's right down the street. Well, it's like a 15 minute walk. But I'm walking there with the dogs because I want to take them. So I'm going to go there, read, let them play around for a little bit. And yeah, that is my plan. Don't really have any, I don't have anything else planned for the day, which is actually so nice because, as I said in I think a, a different clip, I am so exhausted from last weekend. <sighs> Sorry, I'm trying to think of a snack I can bring. So I will let you guys, uh, I'll talk to you when I get. Okay, so I forgot to film at the dog park, but now I'm gonna go and get some brunch. Um, it's 11. I'm gonna go to Hen House, which is right down the street, and get some brunch by myself because you gotta learn to do things by yourself. That's what I was thinking. I just found cheetah print. Cute! Did they say paint light first? Okay, so we just made our pottery. I made the one that you saw was a cheese platter for my mom for Mother's Day with our last name on it because we always make cheese platters together, so I thought she'd like that. And then Sid made, I don't know, did you show them yours? Um, no. Sid made a gnome for her mom, a coffee mug. It's really cute and her mom's gonna love it. So hopefully neither of them watch this. Yeah, seriously, I know. But I don't think that my mom would. I don't think she even knows. <laughs> but I am going to Atlanta tonight to look at apartments and I'm so excited so I wanted to bring you guys along and give you like just a little recap of my trip so that is what I'm gonna do it is three o'clock right now I'm going to the airport at four and my flight is at six so I will see you at the airport and see what do you have to say nothing Luna what do you have to say? Everyone's watching me. They're like, who's this crazy lady talking to herself? It's just me. Okay, bye. I'll see you at the airport. All right, kids, I'm all packed up. I have my Uber. My Uber is coming to pick me up. Um, all right, guys. I made it to Atlanta. <laughs> Cass is watching me and she thinks I'm crazy because she's old and she doesn't get it. She's not with it. <laughs> but I made it. Cass picked me up from the airport and Boston. Say hi, Boston. Can you say hi? Can you say hi? No. <laughs> Says no. She iced me when I got here, but she also got me this little cutting board. It's so cute. You found it here? At the Marshalls here? <laughs> All right, hey guys. I am heading to um, more. So I toured apartments yesterday. I found one that I really, really liked, but I'm looking at a couple others today. Um, in a different area so I was looking like Buckhead area and now I'm gonna look in Brookhaven which is like a little bit out of town sorry I want to get this up some type of way okay, I'll just put it there for now and see if it falls but I'm going to look it's like five minutes away from where I'm at right now at my friend's apartment and I'm taking her car to go so very excited I'll try and film something for you guys um, I don't know if I'm gonna end up living over here. I just don't know if I love the area as much, but I do have They look nice, so We will see Sorry, I'm trying to get my navigation up six minutes from here This 
a one way? No? It's not. But yeah, it's super hot here. It's 78 degrees. And that's guess that's not super hot, but it feels so hot because it's so humid outside. I'm not used to the humidity at all. But I'm gonna drive, so I will see you when I get there. Right, so this is the apartment that I'm touring. All right, so I just got done touring an apartment. Um, I love it, it's so cute, but it's just really expensive and not really in the area that I wanna be in. So I toured that one and then I was gonna tour one before that, but they didn't show up to the leasing office. So didn't tour that one, but it's okay. I think it was a little out of my price range anyways. So I'm applying for an apartment. I'm super excited, hopefully I get approved to be there, but yeah, we shall see and I'll keep you guys updated. But I accomplished the goal that I had for the trip, which was to find an apartment. It was my number one goal. Um, so I did that and here we are. So very, very exciting. Okay, so it's literally like a couple weeks later and I never filmed an outro for that video. Big surprise because I never film outros. Um, but we just ended up my lips look really light. We ended up going out to dinner in Buckhead and um, getting some drinks and then I left on Sunday morning and it was really fun. Thank you Cass for letting me stay with you for like a week and a half. That was really, really kind. Um, but yeah, that's it. And I will see you guys soon.